naman sa SSS member na nakalimutan yung user ID or user password, just simply log on to www.sss.gov.ph and dadalhin kayo dito sa interface na ito. And when you try to input your password and user ID, ito yung magpa-pop up, invalid user ID or password. Madali lang po yan. All you have to do is just simply click yung sa ibaba kung makikita nyo dyan, forgot user ID or password, i-click nyo lang yan. At ito po yung magpa-pop up. Ito po yung lalabas. Enter your CRN or SSS number. Pag may humid ID ka, then nandun yung CRN number mo. And also, if you have your old ID, yung SSS number, nandun din po. Input nyo lang po. Tapos, dito sa ibaba yung code. Nakalagay dyan female. Iba-iba yung babari yan. Input nyo lang and then click to sub click nyo lang po submit. Ito po yung confirmation that you have successfully sent your email. Dapat po, again, active ang email address nyo. Okay? Yung email ad na naka-register sa SSS. Kasi dun po magsisend ng email si SSS. And then when you try to check your email, ito po yung email ad, um, email na matatanggap ninyo. Just click that highlighted thing na nakasaad na click here. Once you click that one, you will be routed to this page. Kung makikita nyo, ito po. Yan. Okay, medyo load loading, especially on Mondays, you know. Okay, here, nakasada nito na you have to input your new password. Okay, so dapat po, yung first characters is alphabet, big letter, and then the rest is, it could be small letter, and don't forget to put numbers in your password okay and then click ok dito po and then click submit na lang okay so ibig sabihin ito dahil nakapasok na tayo is successfully changed na po yung ating password at palala lang po dapat tandaan ang inyong password at user id kung wala kayo dalang ball pen you have your phone with you just write down on the phone okay yes Man, ipapakita ko kung paano mag-reset or mag-change ng password and in this case, you still can log in because you know your password and your username and this time lang is may expire na yung password since you know the validity of the password is just 6 months. Again, pumunta lang sa kahit anong browser at ilogin lang directly na member.sss.gov.ph or yung basic na www.sss.gov.ph and then here my captcha, click you know, submit, okay? And then, you will be routed to this page, yung main interface sa loob ng inyong SSS account. And you will see here, your password will expire on February 11, 2021. That's very near na po. So, drop, click nyo lang po yung tab na member info and change password. Ito po yung member change password. You need to input your current password. And then, the next thing you will do is to Yes, you have to make sure that you will have your unique password. Dapat po yung password is big letter ang nasa una, then the rest is small letters, and then dapat po may number. And of course, dapat madaling tandaan. Kayo po mismo yung pipili, tapos kayo din po mismo yung, of course, to rem yeah, mag -re remember niyan. And also, just a reminder that this password will um, normally expire every six months so make sure to change it every six months here is okay nagkamali ako ng type so i have to click ok and re-enter my new password and confirm password so i will do that one more time and this time is successfully changed so ganun lang po so try natin mag log out and log in gamit yung bagong password ko and i think it is successful so ayun okay na meaning to say i successfully changed again Remember yung password niyo po. Okay. So I think that's all for this video. I hope this video helps you. If so, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and of course comment if you have some questions and clarifications. I am willing to answer all of those in time, of course. So thank you so much for watching this video until the end and have a great day all.